everybody! Today I went to Facebook to ask you guys what you wanted me to film because I don't really have a lot of time before I have to head out the door to go and visit Louise and Baby Glitter as I haven't seen them in a while and I just wanted to film something quick. And I also wanted it to be beauty related as I've done quite a lot of collaborations and I know that a lot of you love collaborations, some of you don't, some of you prefer the beauty thing, so I like to keep it very mixed because, you know, I want to just like to keep everyone happy. So a lot of the suggestions were what's in your makeup bag, what's in your autumn winter staples, what is in your travel bag, what do you love at the moment, um, updated what's in my handbag, um, a lot of things like that and so I thought I would combine all the ideas together and do one video where I showed you my autumn winter essentials, be it skincare, beauty or fashion. I also decided that I wanted to mix up quite a lot of the brands. I wanted there to be affordable and high-end for those of you that prefer to go for the high-end option or for those of you that prefer to go for the lower-end option. I hope there's something in it for all of you. First up, it's my favourite, lipsticks. Although I wear red lipstick pretty much all year round, I tend to go for slightly darker, more berry shades in the autumn or winter. You'll also notice I have my favourite lipstick choice on the end there, orange. Perfect for all seasons, but still very autumnal. And if in doubt, perfect for Halloween. Next is the garish, amazingly cosy jumpers that you can just throw on and be all warm and snug. is blushes. During the summer I tend to wear more peach and coral shades but when the colder months come along I feel like pink can look a lot more flattering, like you've naturally got a chilly outdoor glow. Although don't go too overboard because it could look like you've been on an extremely long and sweaty run. These are a selection of my favourite pink shades, I also think darker berry pinks can look awesome too. Lip glosses. Obviously, since it's the party season, a lot of the lip glosses are going to be red and glitzy and amazing. I've got a selection of lip glosses and lip lacquers that I have been loving at the moment. One of my favourites, candles. Yes, candles. Candles are my favourites. I really like candles. I think they set the mood and they set the season. So candles change with time and now is a time to upgrade your candles to something a little more autumn slash winter. As well as having amazingly scented candles, I also think that fairy lights can really set the mood. So I've got some fairy lights too, and some flowers. I feel I may have gone slightly overboard with the candles this year, but I wanted to test out a lot of different scents, and I've decided that I really like the spicy scents, and I'm not too keen on the sweet ones, so you won't see many of those in my collection. Although I am loving the caramel apple one you can see at the back. Skincare because as you know it gets colder and that really does take its toll on your skin so it's important that you use some hydrating products. Now this is where things can get a little complicated depending on your skin type but I like to use a lot of face masks, hydrating creams and hydrating serums just to make sure that my face is fully hydrated as I do get very very dry skin during the winter. And also don't forget to use bath time as prime face mask pampering sessions. Don't pretend you don't do this, but you will spend the majority of your spare time in some cosy winter joggers. I feel like this is a time to kind of step out of my comfort zone, although these products are very neutral and I like to stick to my neutral colours, I've also gone a lot more cranberry and glitter is also a lot more acceptable at this time of the year. Next is nails or talons. I don't actually have any nail polish on right now, but I'm going to apply some from the lineup that you are about to see. 
Now I'm sure you're all aware how much I love my bright colours for spring and summer so going from that to autumn winter is actually quite a difficult challenge for me. I like to go for really muted colours, beiges, browns, um, I've got a nice gold on the end and I also really like to go for dark reds and of course the glitters. Everybody needs glittery nails at Christmas time. It's just a must. If autumn and winter isn't a time to go crazy on garish, um, cute and colourful socks, then when is the perfect time? As you can see here, I have a delicious bruise on my leg. I'd just like to point out I did that by falling over my suitcase before going to Digitour. I'll just give you a moment to picture that in your head whilst you look at my socks. Last but not least, keeping your lips juicy and soft and kissable with some lip balm because, you know, the cold makes them go all dry and chapped and yucky. You don't want yucky mouth. Blah. That's right Zoe, no one wants a yucky mouth, which is why it's super important to keep your lips hydrated, whether it be an expensive product or something from the drugstore. Okay, so I hope this video helped you in some way, or that it showed you how to upgrade things in your wardrobe, or you know, gave you a few dance move tips, or you know, a way of upgrading your makeup in your makeup bag. Do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and for the fact that I have some random maple syrup here by my bedside from Canada. That really deserves a thumbs up, I believe. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Goodbye. And what? This be my fave. This. <laughs> this is happening. Don't worry guys. I don't wear it like this at home. The only thing wrong with wearing dark lipstick is that it goes on your teeth when you try to film a video, so it's good, isn't it? When the months get a bit colder, I tend to go and show me I can't do it with you next to me. <laughs> no one wants a mucky mouth. <laughs> Click to the left to see a video of me and Grace and click to the right to see Digitour. And, and subscribe! subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Do it!